Welcome to Photoshop and today we're going to go over how to clone something out of an image. Now we've cloned stuff out of images before, but what we're going to do here is remove this white t-shirt. So the client doesn't want the white t-shirt in the photo, we're going to remove that. But the problem is when you remove a big area like this, it puts the color and stuff back, but it kind of smooths it out and it looks fake. So here you have texture and here you don't have any texture. So today I'm going to show you how to clone this, but put the texture back into the image. But what we're gonna do here is go ahead and I'm gonna duplicate this layer. So I'm gonna hit Command J. So now we have two of those layers. Slide this up a little bit. And then we're gonna hit Command J again. And we're not gonna be using this layer. If you don't know how to do frequency separation, that's no big deal. I'll leave a link here in this and you can go watch my video on how to do frequency separation. But basically I'm just gonna run through this real quick. So we're gonna blur this part, Gaussian blur. You're not gonna see it because the other one's overlaying it, but I already know it needs to be at about five. So we'll hit okay. Then we'll come up here and go to image, apply image. Layer is zero copy. Then we want to change this to subtract. Don't know why I'm having trouble. And good, we want it to look like that. That is our frequency separation. This is going to be our detail layer. And this is going to be our color layer. I'm going to turn the detail layer off and I'm gonna throw the color layer away. And we're gonna just go back to this original image and I could duplicate this if I wanted. Now we're gonna clone this image here and then I'll show you how this is gonna work. So to clone this, it would be pretty difficult to kind of clone it and keep this line here. We're gonna have a little bit of trouble with this shadow. So there's a couple different ways to clone. And I'll do the most logical, which is the patch brush and show you what will happen if you use that. So we'll just come in here and we're just selecting this area. Need that much. Okay. And then patch, you just simply move it over here and bam like that. It should replace that area. Now you can see it didn't work. Well, why didn't it work? Because what it does is it uses content aware area and it, it, it pulls from different areas around here. And we don't want that. We could use fill and we could tell the fill what we wanna fill it with, but it's still gonna give us some wonky looking stuff. So we're not gonna do that. So whenever you are have an area that needs to be cloned out and it's right next to a hard edge, this is pretty much the technique I use all the time. I'm gonna use my lasso, a feather of one, and then I could use the pen tool, but I'm just gonna use the lasso and I'm gonna come in here and select this out. I'm trying to get right along that edge. Now we can come in here and fix that later if we need to. We can use a mask to be either paint stuff in or out. It's gonna give us sort of a weird looking hard edge, but we'll just do this one here first. Actually, probably could have this selection a little bit better so we have a little bit more area to clone from. So then we're going to come over here to the clone stamp tool. I'm going to move this up higher. And basically, if you have a selection, I'll, I'll clone this. I notice it won't let me clone outside of the selection, only inside. So if I come here and I clone right there, it's letting me clone inside the selection, but not outside of the selection. So what I'm gonna do here is target that and then clone, target and clone, target and clone. Now we're, we're gonna miss that, but we'll fix that little area later. So you can see we've kind of clone this out. And this actually doesn't look too bad. We've lost a little bit of the texture, it smoothed it out. We're just gonna hit and Z. We'll come back and fix that. And then we're gonna slide over here. I'm gonna have to zoom out a little bit. 
they don't have enough room. And we will need to select this. And actually, I'm going to zoom in. So I'm using the regular lasso tool and I'm holding the alt option key, which gives me the polygonal lasso tool. It's just kind of a quicker and easier way for me to select rather than using the pen tool. I have to say I'm not the greatest at using the pen tool just because as a photographer, I'm not making a lot of selections usually. A lot of what I do is just straight photography. We will come way out here and make that selection. Then we're gonna zoom out. And then just like we did before, we're gonna make sort of a large brush. I'm usually gonna wanna make as large a brush as I can. And we are going to go ahead in here and clone this out. And so when I did this the first time, this is where I kind of ran into an issue that make sure you try to do like the values of where the values should be. So right in here, it, it's, it's smoothing this out. So when I hit command D, we can see here. It looks pretty realistic when you zoom out, but it has lost a little bit of that texture. Now to bring that texture back in, remember we have that skin detail right here. The problem with the skin detail is right here, it's picking up this detail of where the shirt is and we don't, we don't want that. So what I'm gonna do is actually duplicate this layer and Jay turn one of them off. And then I'm actually gonna just slide this down a little bit. So we'll take this here and we're gonna slide this down until the skin texture is right here, but the shirt texture isn't. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create an inverted mask. So I'm gonna click on the mask and hold the Alt Option key. And then I'm just gonna paint in here where I want that detail to be applied. So we're gonna take the color white we're gonna take a brush, we're gonna make our brush smaller. And then remember, I just wanna add that texture back here. Now you can see right here, it's picking up that beard texture. No big deal, we will just remove that. And just like that, we have added some texture back to that image. Come in here, just remove that. So we're getting a little bleed over because I have a really soft feather. This is very subtle and difficult to see maybe on a video, but when you do this yourself, you'll see the texture appear back in there so it looks more realistic. We're gonna do the same thing over here. So I'm gonna turn this one back on. I'm just gonna slide this over a little bit. Helps if you click on the correct layer. Move tool. You're gonna select the detailed copy layer and then we're just gonna slide that over so we have a little bit of texture there. We're gonna create the inverted mask, which is Alt, click on that. And then we're just gonna go ahead, just like we did for the other one, and paint or apply that into that area with the color white. So I'll just come in here and add that texture back and we are good to go. The next thing that we're gonna do here is just actually click on this top layer and I'm gonna hit the New, I'm gonna create a new layer and we're just gonna paint some of that dark line back in there. What we're gonna do is we're gonna lower our flow down pretty low and just lower our opacity. This is a little bit hard to do with the mouse that I'm using now, but I think most people are not gonna be using a tablet. They're gonna be using a mouse. So I'm gonna copy that color. That color has been copied. I'm gonna make a small little brush. And then basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna come back in here and start painting that in to this area. Now, what's happening here is it's gonna bleed over this area. And notice that I've got that halo. I want it to feather like it is on this soft side, but not over here. So I'm gonna hit Command Z, go back in time. And once again, if you create that edge, 
a selection to make an edge. It's not going to let you paint over it, but it's going to let you paint into it. So we will just come in here, do this real quick, go out more than we need. We still got the color. And what's cool now is I can make this brush bigger. So it's about as big as my, it's about as big as the little purple thing that's spinning. And then I can come in here One of the things I'm noticing is that this is actually kind of smoothing. I can put this underneath that texture layer and then it will put the texture on top of it. I'm gonna get a little bit of this darker brown. And basically you would just go through here. And then if you go too far, whoops, and you need to clean that up, We'll make a mask. We we'll use the color black. And then if I need to soften this up, we can just easily paint some of this out. And you would go through and do that until you get this little edge right here. This is not perfect, but for tutorial, get what I'm doing. We're gonna take this layer and actually put it under this layer. It's gonna get some of that texture. And then when we get back, as you assume, as we zoom out, this will start to eventually look just like the photo that we had over here. Now you're not gonna have that shadow as much on this side, only on this side because the light is coming this way, not this way. So hopefully that's been helpful. You learned a little bit about how to clone something out of an image. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave those below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe.